Uh huh. Okay, sir. Okay, just. Okay, yeah, but. Uh, all right, all right. My bad, my bad. Okay, I'm hanging up now. Okay, bye. Ah, uh, Guida. Yeah, that was the uh, the head of MI6. Okay, he has a little bit of an issue with us. See, in our last spy mission, I may or may not have blown our cover by running into battle with a giant claymore sword. Okay. Yeah, well, I had no idea it was not part of the itinerary. I had no idea that super secret spies weren't supposed to use giant claymore swords to run in and take out the, uh, take out the enemies. Is that really not what they do? Anyway, look, he's already booked us out a session here within the hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades dimension just to see if we can, you know, train with some spy -y weapons. spy -y is not a word, please don't repeat it after me. So we're talking silenced weapons, small firearms, things that are kind of subtle, you know, not the kind of usual big uh, bravado giant weapons we're used to. So we may as well get this started with one of these pistols here. I guess we'll go with automatic. We'll just start with the PX4 Storm. It's a cool name for a tiny gun. Seriously, Guido, what am I supposed to do with this? This thing is like a baby. Are there any... Nope, there aren't any rounds in it. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and get this started here with a magazine. Go ahead and drop this in here. What am I supposed to do with this? Well, yeah, I guess fire it. Let's try it out. Let's see how the old accuracy is. Three, two, one. I'm going for that target straight in the middle. Bam. Oh, I hit the one to the side. Uh, uh yeah. Come on. Come on, please. I just want to hit one, one shot. Come on. Okay, well, look, that's not the point anywhere. The point is, my little robotic friend, that we're supposed to be silent. We're supposed to be quiet. So we're going to put on the, uh, the suppressor here and see how we do with this. Which way does it go in? Like this? Okay, let's try. Hold on. Secure that tightly enough. I think that's on securely. I'm not sure, but, uh, we'll be putting this to the test. Uh, new magazine in there. Reload. Hold on. Reload just like that. And uh, let's go for these four targets on the range here. Let's see if I can... Oh, oh my gosh, it's super silent now. It's like a whisper. We are going to walk straight into the super secret spy situations and just be like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Bam! Hey there, lovely weather we're having. Kaboom! Hey, is that a new dress? Wabammy! We are going to be so subtle, so silent, so deadly. Like one of those farts. I'm sorry, that's the only comparison I could make. Well, what happens if we get two of these and dual wield these? Let's, let's get another babby gun just like this. Spawn one of those in, spawn one of these in. And I think, I think our leaders are going to be very happy with what we're producing here today. This, this is a slightly different magazine. It looks a little bit bigger. Okay, let me see here. Let me twist this on so it doesn't fall off. I think we have to really tighten it just so it doesn't come flying off. That'd be a disaster for everyone involved. Okay, grab this, and now we've got dual pistols. This one doesn't have the magazine, but this one does. Uh, does it work? Oh, I haven't even, I haven't even reloaded it. Silly me, there we go. Now let's try it. Huh, uh, 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 there we go. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Wow, I missed every shot there, apart from that last one. Hiya! Yeah! Okay, I definitely didn't need to get up close and personal to totally hit those. Um, <clears throat> I'm really, I'm a professional. Okay, so these were our first subtle spy-like weapons, which is awesome. Gonna go ahead and try... Oh, yeah, slam dunk. Try get this one in as well. And uh, we'll forget about that for now. Oh, is this... Is this particularly quiet, Guida? Okay, okay, that's the opposite of quiet, apparently. Oh, look at this. A browning high power. Well, power is what we're looking for here. This one doesn't come with a suppressor, which is quite unfortunate, but I am willing to try it out. Uh, it, being a spy, you've got to be adapting to any situation. Sir, so, we want to try as many of these out as we possibly can and hopefully hit a target. I also noticed there's a hot dog right there, hidden all the way over there. He could be a Russian spy, so we're going to try take him out if we can aim at all. Please? No. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm so bad. Wait, did I hit him? Yes, let me go check this out. So we hit him straight in the jaw and I, a little bit on the butt as well. Well, I'm sorry about that, friend. Uh, rather you than me. Oh, the Mauser. Now, I think this might be a German kind of pistol, sir. So we want to use it to get a real flavor for the different things we can, uh, all the different cultures we might experience while being a spy. These things are just falling straight on the ground. Good grief. I'm going to try catch one. No. Okay. I'll catch one eventually. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll just pick them up. So we've got a stock here, which I presume goes right on the butt of this thing. Where does it go? Like here? No. Oh my gosh, where does it go? It must fit on somewhere. There must be somewhere we can kind of insert this thing. Maybe at the bottom? No, that makes no sense. On the side? It, surely it's on the back. It, wait, what? Does it go upside down? Wait, what? Really? That looks ridiculous. I think it's... 
I think that's all upside down. Surely your shoulder's supposed to fit right there, no? Okay, that's fine by me. Um, <laughs> okay, now we need a clip. I wonder if this is like full auto or something. Is that why it's, uh, hold on. Uh, why it's requ requiring such a, uh, such a big magazine? And where does this fit in? I would presume like here. Or maybe not, maybe elsewhere? What the heck? Where does it go? Oh, there we go. It goes in on the top. Okay. Uh, let's see if this is all chambered up. Um, it's not firing. You can see the trigger wiggling around there. Um, let's see. So, surely there's something- Oh! That just detached it. No, that is not what we want. Um, that goes in there, and that just detaches it, apparently. So, maybe we've got to put in first, then fiddle until something kind of works. Maybe we've got to push it in before we do anything. This is so weird. Um, can we just push it all the way in? No, apparently not. Where did my clip go? Okay, we do have another one here. Um, it's still not firing. Uh, there must be something we can do here. See, that just pops it straight out. I'll tell you what, no one's gonna need that anyway. It's way too, way too, uh, way too suspicious looking. Oh, the Whisper. Now, this seems like a spy weapon. Let's try this out. This one looks a lot more simple than the, uh, than the Mauser. This looks like one that's going to be a lot easier to operate with. It's probably called the Whisper because it's so tiny and it comes with a pre-built suppressor, it looks like. It's not firing yet, whatever is, whatever's going on. Um, do I need to pull something back? Maybe this thing? There we go. Let's try this out. Uh, if, if it, if it worked. Come on, Whisper, don't let me down now. Just, just work for me, please. Here we go. Uh, it's still not working. Uh, there must be something we need to... Oh, there we go. It had the safety on. Oh, this thing is super quiet. Guido, let me put this next to my ear. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, surprisingly, it's still loud when it's right next to your head. There was actually a hot dog way out there near that tree. If I can hit this, Guido, you owe me a million dollars. That is a cool, maybe 100 meters away, so let's, uh, let's try this out. Here we go. It's all about the accuracy. Okay, one of those is bound to have hit. Let's go check it out. Here we go, and we're heading all the way up here. Did any of them, any of them hit? Nope, that is one fully formed hot dog. Okay, let's change things up here. I wonder if we can get like a silent shotgun of some kind. Uh, maybe magazine fed? Are there any like suppressed shotguns? That'd be awesome. Uh, it doesn't look like it. That's what I'm looking for right now. Either suppressed shotguns or like tiny shotguns, which we can just pull out of nowhere. Maybe hidden in like a briefcase of some kind, but it doesn't look like anything is kind of uh, silent. Uh, oh, this is tiny. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, what? What? This thing is so small. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me try this. Does it just take one, one, uh, one shell? I think it does. Does this? Uh, uh, okay, I thought it kind of slide back into place. Apparently not. Um, what? Oh, there we go. We got it loaded up there. The single shell. Um, oh, oh my gosh. Whoa, for being quiet, this thing shot us pack a punch. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me put that down for a second. Can we get any more shotgun shells? Can I just get one more shotgun shell? No, they don't seem to be coming with any shells. Okay, let me dispense of this one if we can, sir. What is going on? Why is it holding itself upside down? What? Okay, come with me. There we go. Um, can I break this one out? There we go. Uh, I did see. Yep, there are some just here. So I presume these can fit right in there just like this. Then we just kind of... Yep, whack it like that. There we go. Uh, make sure the safety is, hold on, is off. Uh, come on, please, please cooperate. Please, uh, th okay, there we go, fine. Look how tiny this thing is though, this is amazing. Oh, <laughs> oh, it still packs a punch though. Guido, this is like a little baby gun for you. Look, it's tiny like you are. <laughs> All right, dude, uh, does it still, oh yeah, it still had a shell in there. Oh my goodness, okay. So that is another option for the spy job. If you guys know any other weapons which would be suitable, of course, let me know. Uh, I want to see if there's maybe like, yeah, a throwing knife. Oh, there are shurikens. Let me try this out. Now, this is normally a ninja style thing, but this is, uh, this could work as well. Of course, we need another target. So we're going to take this guy who is half, uh, half munched already. Hey yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. And in the groin. And we missed. That was way cooler in my head. That's probably going to kill like a family of rabbits down there or something. Hmm, medieval. Uh, oh, there's a claymore here, Guida. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, fine. I won't, I won't. What about improvised? In case we're in a battle and we need to pull out something fast, maybe like a crowbar or something? Um, let me try this out. Hold on. Uh, well, it's definitely a crowbar. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, <laughs> uh let's go back over here. Tactical. Here we go. A karambit knife. This seems like something spies would use. Whoa, whoa, this thing is awesome. Look how shiny it is. Let's go all the way 
all the way to this guy right here and stab him right in the spleen if we can. Um, let's throw this. Catch it. Oh, jeez, that was cooler in my head. <laughs> Come on, you want to tussle? You want to tussle with me? Hey, yeah. Oh, jeez, I just cut his throat out. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, man. Can we hit the throwing knife shot? Let's try it. Uh, oh, I forgot to let go. That'll that'd help. Huh. Oh, jeez. Okay, wow, that went for miles and miles. Okay, as I said, finally, I think we should use a sniper rifle here for any long distance spy work. Um, let's see, what's like the coolest thing? What's the super shorty? Is this like a tiny, oh, it's like a tiny sniper rifle. Let me try this thing out here. Maybe this will be best for, you know, operating on a smaller level, but uh, still keeping that stealth there. Uh, what time scope is this? It's a 3 to 12? That's quite the range. Uh, how does this fit on? Surely, like, on top of here somewhere, right? Oh, jeez. That's fine. Does it go like this? Does it, like, slide on, I guess? Um, oh, there we go. It's actually held onto there. Uh, awesome. So, I presume I just take the safety off. Maybe pull this thing back. Um, do we have any bullets? Can I have one of those? Has that worked, or? Um, let me try this. What? Well, the magazine's still in there. I just detached it for a second there. Pulled it back. Maybe I've got to pull it back in. Um, I- No! I am very confused. Oh, something fell out of there. That seems good. Is this still not fireable? Uh, there must be a safety or something. Um, can I- No, that doesn't work. Maybe like- Oh! Oh, there it was. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see if we can hit something from quite the range here. Yeah, this scope seems very funky. It doesn't seem to be maybe the best scope for the job. It, have I got the wrong way around? I may have it the wrong way around here. Okay, we can hopefully change the magnification on this thing. Hopefully, there we go, we got on 12. Can we see all the way up there? It's still pretty, it's still pretty close. I think, I think it's because I got this thing. Yeah, I definitely got this thing the wrong way around. Okay, let me try this again, if I can. Um, will this detach? It won't detach. We'll just, we'll just start again. Let's try this once more. Okay, so we're putting it on the right way this time, just like that. And uh, now we need a magazine. May as well take this one. We still got some rounds left there. We pull this back. Um, in fact, we might have to undo something first. So pull that back. There we go. Just like that. And now this thing should be ready to go. Let's see if we can spot our hot dog friends. There is a plant pot just there, but I think that's actually quite particularly close. Uh, let me change the magnification on this all the way to 12. Oh my gosh, my hands are super shaky. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see this right now through the skirt, but it's going to be very tough. Uh, we should probably go for this one all the way at the top. That was not being able to be hit. Um, oh my gosh, he's miles away. Hold on, my hands are so shaky. Uh, oh, well, the bullet's not working. That'd probably help if it was. Um, okay, let's try this again. And... Uh, bingo! I may have missed. As I said, you guys might struggle to see through this, but I am seeing everything, apart from this hot dog, which is like up there somewhere. Uh, bam! Okay, let's go check out the damage. Let's see if we actually did anything to him. So we were all the way up here, and I missed everything. Unless it was this guy. Oh, wait. No, I think we've already done that. We did that with the knife, right? Um, so, yeah, I don't think we hit anything on this guy. Let me see. Um, let me pull this back. Pull that back in. Is this... There we go. We finally hit him. There we go. Well, guys, I think we're going to need a little bit more work, a little bit more training before we are let back into the special forces. If you guys would like to see us... Try, uh, try wear my way back in, then please let me know with a comment, a like, a subscribe, all that good stuff. But for right now, this is me, Steve, that's me, Guido. We are gonna go get back to, I guess, the MI6 base and beg for our jobs back. Checkpoint complete. Okay, I wanna, I wanna try this out one more time here. From a range, that guy over there. Oh, jeez. Yep, again, probably killed some farmyard animals. Bye, guys.